Hi everyone, Tatiana from the Green Birds Beat Kingdom is here and today I'm going to show you how to make Halloween earrings. I've been wearing these daisy earrings for quite a long time, so I think I need a new pair of earrings and in the upcoming Halloween this will be very handy. See what I've created? In this tutorial I will show you how to make these pumpkin seed bead earrings. You will find the supplies list needed in the description field under this video. I'm going to use seed beads in size 11O. I'm taking this orange Toho in color 30B. Also, I'm going to use Mayuki needles and my favorite beading thread Toho 1G. I'm taking this orange color of thread. You will also need two beads, each in size 10 to 15 millimeters depending on the size of the pumpkin you want to create so you can choose between these 15 millimeter beads or 10 millimeter beads the bigger bead you take the bigger pumpkin you create in the end if you choose to work with bigger bead then make sure it's made of plastic or take a cotton pearl we need to have it lightweight because you will feel it comfortable in your ears so go to your local bead store, grab some supplies, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and let's get started. Everything in beadwork starts with a thread. So take your thread and unspool very very long, something like this or maybe even longer. Make sure you take the longest thread possible because, well, you see later why. So cut the thread of spool and then thread a needle. I'm going to work with cotton pearl in size approximately 10 millimeters and before I start to work with this bead I have to make some magic with its hole. So I'm going to take this set of tools, this is called bead reamer set. I'm taking this one with red color and very long and pointed end. I'm going to place this tool inside my bead hole and I'm going to make these kind of rotating movements just to, to make the hole bigger than it was before. So see what I'm doing? I'm just putting this inside and rotating this left to right, left to right, and then I repeat this step from the other side of my bead. I think we will have to make something like 16 to 25 passes, so I have to make sure that the hole is large enough. So yes, this tool from the beadsmith is quite handy, so make sure you have one in your stash. Now when we're finished with the bead hole, take your needle and pass through the bead hole. Leave approximately a 4 inch tail, we will secure it later. String seed beads in the amount. Well, you have to make sure you have enough seed beads so you can go around your bigger cotton pearl. And now go through your bead once again from the bottom to the top and pull your thread. See what we have here? It looks like the line of seed beads goes around our bigger bead. And that's it, we have to repeat this many, many times till we cover our cotton pearl with seed beads lines. See, I've strung another 12 beads and once again I'm going through the bead hole. Okay, and now when you made 10 lines of 12 seed beads, it's time to stop. We can't continue in the same manner anymore. See why? If you continue doing the same thing, the seed beads will go bulk and they won't lie this perfectly on your bigger bead. So at this point, we are going to make less seed beads in each row. For example, we did 12 seed beads in the previous 10 rows, so now we are going to make well, let's try 10. See, I've strung 10 seed beads and now I have to make a fit just to make sure that it is the perfect amount. So, okay, let's try and see what we have now when we have strung 10 seed beads. Oh, well, okay, I like how it looks like, so I think I'll leave this amount at this point. 10 is perfect and 12 here would be too much because 12 will ruin the perfect ball shape now. Okay, now we continue to do this, we'll add another several rows of 10 seed beads 
and we'll put them between the rows where we had created the 11. So between every line of 12 seed beads, I'm going to put a line of 10 seed beads. But every time you do this, make sure they fit perfectly and they don't ruin your ball shape. This is very important. So if you feel that the 10 beads would be too much, then take 9 or maybe even 8. So every time we add another row of seed beads, we have to make sure that the pumpkin is still round. Okay, I like how it looks like at this point. It's okay that the thread is visible here, it's absolutely fine because it will be covered later with another row of seed beads, so it's okay. Okay, now I go through the bead hole. I put my seed beads between the previous rows and also I make sure that I don't cover my bead hole. Okay, perfect. So yes, and we continue to do this every time till we cover all the beads with the smaller seed beads. And you can stop at this point now or you can continue and make more, more, more rows. It depends on you, you decide. If you want to make your inner bead more visible, for example, if you take this bead and make it black and then you cover it with orange strands of seed beads at some point the black bead will be visible and it will look very nice and interesting or maybe you want to cover this all so the inner bead won't be visible so you decide where to stop it's your project and you're the creator so it's totally up to you because i'm making earrings for halloween i've took the inner bead in black color and I see it's still visible and it's perfectly what I want to have it because uh, this is, you know, kind of spooky pumpkin and it's not perfectly orange. You can see it's black and dark inside. So this is the perfect bead, the perfect color for my project. So this is why I decided to make it still a little bit visible. Okay, I like how it looks like. The black is still visible, the pumpkin is spooky and darkish, so the perfect, perfect Halloweenish theme. Okay, now it's time to turn this beaded bead into the earring. There are many ways to do this. First of all, we can take a head pin and insert this inside our bead. Make a loop here and then attach it to the earring findings, like this. But I will show you how to do this without the head pin, so I'm going to take this away. And I'm going to take this small green bead and see what I'm going to do with this. This is going to be the pumpkin sleeve. Then I'm stringing the soldered ring. Just make sure your ring won't open. It's not opening, so this is very important. Take the soldered ring. And now I go back through this green bead. And after this green bead, I go through any of these seed beads that are close to the end, like this. I pull my thread, I need my beadwork to be tight and nice. Now I go through neighboring seed beads in the opposite direction, so I put my needle from downside to up and go up through my green bead after that. So we have to make sure this bicon beads it has very sharp edges. So several thread passes will help us to save our beadwork and it will be more secure. So we're doing this several times. Okay, back through the green and back through nearest orange bead. Or maybe through a couple, it's absolutely fine. Now pull the thread and right here we are going to secure our thread. We will make a knot. We go here with our needle between two seed beads and then go back through this loop and pull tightly and the knot is ready. And right here, right now, I'm going to make a second knot so our beadwork will be secured. Once again, I'm going between these two beads. I'm coming under the thread, pull a little bit and then I go back through this loop and then pull everything tightly. Okay, it looks very beautiful. If you wish, you can go through these beads once again through the opposite direction and make a couple of additional knots just to make sure that you have everything secured. I like to make a lot of knots because I need guarantees that everything will be secured and in control. We are going to bring the needles to the top of it because we are now we're going to attach a tendrils to it. Now I'm going to take my beadwork along, my bead along, and I'm going to take artistic wire in size 28 gauge. I'm going to take 
some amount of this pool. I'm not going to cut it yet. Then take something small and round, something like a toothpick or maybe even smaller. I think I will use this pin for my project. And now I'm going to coil my wire on this pin. See what I'm doing? I'm just spiraling around my pin and I leave a tiny, tiny, tiny space between every loop. These are going to be pumpkin tendrils. If you have the green wire, it's perfect. Take the green. I don't have green wire, so I decided that the silver color would be also okay. I still like how it looks like. It will complement my findings anyway. So I've coiled approximately one or two centimeters of this wire. It's up to you. You decide how long you want it to be. Then take the wire of your pin, make a cut and cut the tiny bit of the wire on the other end so it also look perfect. Okay, this is what we have now, the coil, the spiral wire. Now we take this spiral and bend it at the center. Okay, like this, see what we have now? And now I'm going to attach it to my pumpkin. Like this, I'm taking my needle, put my spiral here in its position, then I tighten the thread. And now I'm going to pass through this very same bit that my thread came from in the opposite direction. So what I'm just doing is just sewing this to my beadwork. Okay, pull, pull, pull tightly. Okay, I've connected this spiral thing to my pumpkin, it's in perfect position and now we can fix the thread, we can make a couple of knots just to secure the thread here. Go through several orange beads and make a couple of knots just the same way we did this before. Okay, now it's time to cut the thread. And now it's time to secure the second thread. Remember, we left the tail approximately three to four inches. So we will thread the needle with this. And after that, we are going to secure it. We will make several knots between orange beads just in the same manner we did before. But before we secure the thread, make sure your bead hole is covered with seed beads. So we don't have this hole here. See my hole of the bead is covered now, so I'm absolutely fine. But you can find yourself in the situation where you have this hole visible and it won't look beautiful at this point. Just string one seed bead and go here through the neighboring bead just to cover this hole of the bigger bead inside. Okay, see now it's perfect. No visible hole here. And now secure the thread. Make a couple of knots and cut your thread. Now we're going to make the spiral coils look nicer, so I'm going to take my tool. I take my flat nose pliers and I bend these coils a little bit, just like this. Make this bend nice and curved and round. Make them look natural. A little bit here and there, and that's what we have. Okay, perfect. And now we're going to attach earring findings. By the way, I just thought it could be also a pendant so we can make bigger pumpkin, maybe using this bigger bead and make it a pendant. Okay, but I'm going to make earrings, so I'm taking the earring findings. I take the earring findings and open this ring with my pliers. Put my pumpkin pendant here and close the ring. Okay, now it's ready. And absolutely the same way I created the second one. So this is what we have now. Perfect orange Halloween pumpkin earrings. So yes, now it's time to try them on. I'm going to take off my flower earrings. By the way, we have the tutorial here. You can also find the link in the description under this video for tutorial of these earrings. And I'm going to try my pumpkins. Okay, this is what we've created. I'm perfectly, perfectly, perfectly in love with my new earrings. So make one for yourself or the ones you love. Make this Halloween pumpkin earrings as a holiday gift. And don't forget to like this video if you like this tutorial and subscribe to our channel to see more tutorials from us in the future. And also leave a comment and come back next week. Bye.